Okay, so I made a video yesterday about the latest update with the RC2. I'm talking about mainly about the new DJI Fly app, which is the 1.13.5. And I've still got the jerky compass. And I think if you watch it now, it has. Now, somebody said to me, if I press the top left icon there, which I believe the navigation is the compass direction, if I do that, now the north is shot behind me, and I think what it is, it locks the north. Now it's not jumping about, admittedly. Um, but if I, obviously, if I do that, you can see that the, that's working. Obviously the pitch didn't like that, did it? But I don't think that's correct by no knocking that off. I think you do need to have that navigation thing on, because that's showing you, that I'm right in thinking, trying to find information about this navigation thing um, it's really hard, but there's actually a DJI forum many people having the same problem this jittering around of the compass anyway I thought the other thing I can do is I have never Calibrated my drone anyway my compass caliber. I'm talking about so I thought okay Maybe I'll do that So should we give it a go? <laughs> it's pretty easy. So all you do you go over to your settings you go into safety, which is already on, thankfully, and we scroll down. You keep scrolling down, and then it says compass normal. Now, usually, if you have got a major problem with it, it will give you a warning. And sometimes it does do that. But anyway, so what we do, right, so you've got to have the drone on. That's the main thing. You know, haven't got to start it up. All you've got to do is just pick the drone up. I'm going to come out here, we've got a bit of space, and we just say start, okay, so it says rotate the drone 360, so I'm just going to go around in a circle, now I've done a full circle, okay, it's still saying, it's still saying do it, Sorry, <laughs> not reading it properly, vertical, so we just do that as well. Okay, so it's saying it's been successfully done. So, according to this, um, and you can see it's just jittering around still, so... To me, that hasn't resolved it. Okay, I can press that icon at the top there, and that will lock it, and, and the drone steady. Something else I want to show you guys, when I have that on that lock there, I'm just going to get the drone in the air a moment. We've got 16 satellites. Okay, if you just take it off. Take off. I'm just going to send the drone over there a moment. Okay. Now you can still see that the compass is jittering around. Now if I put that lock on now, I've got that orange, <laughs> I've got this orange line, which I don't understand what's about. Now it's possible, looking at it now, if I just take it up a moment. Right. Right, so maybe that orange that I'm seeing is just, uh, if I just drop the camera down, I want to gulp at my neighbour's house. Right. I think what that is, that the orange, is um, is probably the avoidance thing. So if I put on my, um, if I put the sensors on there, sorry, I should say. Okay, so just going to come out of that a moment, and I'm just messing about the screen. Okay, 
So I've got my forward sensor on. If I put that sensor on there, I don't think it's that. So we're going to come out of that now. OK, so... <laughs> I'm just going to bring the drone back in and we'll, we'll have a quick chat. OK, so I've turned the drone off. Um, I've still got the controller on and you can see the compass still jittering around it. Guys, it shouldn't be doing that officially. Um, and if I put on the lock... OK, it's not doing that, but I, do, I honestly think you do have to have the navigation wherever it's going on and anyway. So... <laughs> I thought might have resolved it. I thought by... Because I've never calibrated my drone, I'll be honest. I've always said to people, if the drone takes off and it's nice and level, it don't need doing it. The old days of the fans, God, it was all over the place and you had to calibrate it. But these type of drones are pretty good. But I just think, end of the day, to me, I still think it's the RC2 that's got a problem. And I've gone on to the... Uh, I'm just going to turn this off a moment. Now, there is actually a DJI forum about this compass problem. And it does seem um, that DJI are asking people to, to send their controller back to them so they can have a look at it. Now, I don't know if this is a major problem. I mean, I would say it's 50-50. Some people said they've had no problems at all. Some people have said since the latest update they've had a problem. Now, I've had this compass problem I reckon for the past two or three since the last two or three updates um, and I think Kev said he's going to go out and he's got time to I think he's going to reset his drone to a really old um, update I don't know how you do that <laughs> but he's going to try that now that 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 would be interesting because some people that haven't updated for quite a while now they've got none of this problem um, but anyway, it's ongoing. If and as always, guys, it's all about input. Guys, if you've got no problems, let me know because then we've got some idea if this is a major thing or is it just me and a couple of others. <laughs> and maybe, maybe we've got to send it back. I mean, I don't want to send it back. As far as I'm concerned, it's a really good controller. I've no, no other prop issues with this thing. But anyway, as always, it's all about helping each other. And as always, there'll be another video coming very soon. I like these. <laughs>